Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to a very special video. I'm going to do something a little different today. I actually bought myself a present I splurge and I got myself a brand new computer and I thought it would be fun to demonstrate the difference between my old computer versus my brand new computer and compare it. So for example, I am going to be demonstrating how quickly Maya opens, how quickly Maya renders and the difference between the CPU render versus the GPU render. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super happy with my new computer. I love my old computer, don't get me wrong, but my new one is so quiet and so amazing. Um, I thought it'd be fun to just demonstrate the two. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. I purchased my computer way back in the day. It had an Intel Core i7 6700K, four gigahertz. It was a 16 gigabyte DDR4, and a 500 gigabyte SSD and two terabytes of storage. And I did use the GeForce GTX 1060, six gigabytes. It was a great computer. It lasted for a very long time. I think I had it for four or five years. I used to build my own computers way back in the day, but I just find it kind of stressful. I sweat a lot. I shake too much. I'm afraid I'm gonna electrocute it. I just, I don't feel comfortable. So that was then. And this is now, I, I bought a Corsair Vengeance i8200 gaming PC. It has an Intel Core i90, a 14,900K. It's an NVIDIA RTX 4090, 64 gigabytes, DDR5, 6600 MTS memory, I've got four terabytes. I spent a pretty good amount of money on this one. I needed one. It was starting to become really old and slow. So I needed a brand new one and I'm really happy with it. Let's go ahead and start off with turning on Maya 2024 in my Intel Core i7 computer. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. I'm going to double click on Maya 2024. And as you can see, nothing's happening so far and that's okay. It works. The whole point is that this computer worked. I am. Um, I did install Maya 2024.2 just to make sure that both computers share the exact same one. Um, I didn't want it to use an earlier version because one may be faster than the other, but as you can see, it's kind of chugging along here and it is de uploading all the plugins such as Bifrost and the USDs that I still haven't really used, which I do want to explore a little bit more. Um, I have the muscle systems, the X-Gen toolkit, which is vast and awesome. And, um, of course, the Maya 2 Arnold, the MTOA, that is probably the most important part. Um, my computer's thinking really, really, really hard. That's okay. You do you, my little computer. And there it is. Ta-da! Right, let's go jump into my new computer. All right, so as you can see, I have a lot of really cool programs here. I am going to go to Maya 2024. Yep, that was fast. Again, you can see that it says Maya 2024.2, and it's loading pretty fast. Can it beat the previous time? Don't shame me now. There it is. Pretty good. Next, I wanted to show you guys the difference between rendering. So this is my old computer. I have this whole environment. It has caustics, it has lighting, it has, um, you know, textures, all sorts of stuff. It's not a, that complicated of a scene, but you know, it does have a bunch of stuff. It's got a mission, emissiveness on her dress and things like that. So, and in the comment tab, I want to demonstrate that I am using just an HD 540. I'm not going very high when it comes to the resolution. So I'm keeping it at 540. And in the Arnold render, it's the default. So there is adaptive sampling, it's not on, it's just a basic renderer. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. There we go. Well, we're gonna go ahead and start rendering it. As you can see, it does its little sampling. And again, it's just a basic render. I'm using the render camera and you can see that it's only at 26% and it's already at 15 seconds and it's getting there. Okay, Monica. And as you can see, it took about 40, a minute and 43 seconds to render this simple scene. So that was the CPU. The next thing I want to show you guys is the GPU. So I'm going to go to the render settings. I'm going to go into the systems tab. And then instead of using CPU, I'm going to use my GPU. Right, so again, I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. 
Um, and I'm also going to go to the Arnold samples and increase it to 20 because um, I know that it's going to be pretty noisy. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger that. If you guys don't know what the difference is between the CPU and the GPU, the GPU uses the graphics card. Um, the CPU uses the actual computer itself. So you get different qualities and I wanted to demonstrate both of, both of them. Uh, the GPU can give you faster results, but it also um, can give you inaccurate results. And the CPU is probably this takes longer but the quality is higher depending on your Arnold setting. So there's pros and cons to everything and as you can see in this case I'm having a little bit of a challenging time because it actually doesn't give you any type of feedback that it is running in the background um, and you'll see them second that it crashes. <laughs> so for whatever reason it crashed so then I restart Maya again and this time I decide to keep the Arnold settings I increase the memory and then I go to the Arnold renderer and change it to a 10 because I want to make sure that maybe that was the issue for why it crashed in the first place. Now again, you have to give it a little bit of time for it to render. This was just the, the sphere on the plane was just an example of making sure that it wasn't my GPU that was the issue, the rendering, that it actually does render GPU. But you'll notice down here at the bottom, there is a 0% happening right now, which means that the computer is in fact thinking and the timer is also ticking away. So that means that, you know, there's there's uh, it's thinking. It's thinking very hard. I might not be showing you anything, but it's something is happening in the background. I'm not sure why it didn't give me a, a preview. Usually it gives you something. To look at to make sure um, it's working but hmm, that's what we have going right now with this particular computer and the gpu as you can see it's already been a minute oh 50 seconds and now we're finally starting to get results and you can see that once the render starts happening it starts to render relatively quickly now the magic behind the gpu is that it might take initially it might take time for it to render the first quote unquote pass but it's also really fast when it comes to iterations. So if you're trying to change the watercolor and the stone or anything like that, it renders super fast once it does its first initial pass. All right, I can still see that it is at 27% and it is going at a minute and 30 seconds. And you can see the quality is um, Kind of noisy, but it's working and that's that's okay. Again, it's a great way of, you can always increase your GPU to a higher value or the Arnold render settings to a higher value and you will get a better and cleaner results. But that goes with anything. That goes with CPU and GPU. So it really depends what you guys are trying to achieve. Um, but let me go ahead and pause this and then move on. All right, you can see how nice the quality is. It, it took about five minutes and 52 seconds, almost six minutes to get this nice render. Again, it's using GPU, and if I make any changes to it, um, that will go really, it will be really fast. So it might start off a little slow, but eventually it will get even faster. All right, now let's compare this to my new computer. All right, this is my new computer. So just to demonstrate that uh, it's the exact same thing, just to demonstrate that it is the exact same settings, here we are under the comment tab. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see that it's HD 540. If I go to the Arnold settings, you can see that it is just the default 32222 and adaptive sampling is off. I'm choosing CPU to render this. Let's see how long it takes. And it's rendering away now. Again, it's exact same settings. You can see the quality, it's going by much faster. And took 14 seconds <laughs> so yep a little bit faster for sure that's what i love about these fast computers it's uh your rendering time will go significantly faster okay now we're gonna try the gpu so let's go ahead and go to gpu crank that up to 10 and uh, let's go ahead and give it a render gonna take a snapshot just to compare because it's always very interesting to see the difference between a cpu versus a gpu all right, you can see at the bottom right that it is at 50% and we are at 10 seconds. Right, and it's now at, oh, and just like that it finishes. So 15 seconds um, compared to 14 seconds. So one second faster, but you can see the difference in quality. 
right? So you can see that the quality for the GPU is actually a little bit higher. It has less noise. So that's actually, you know, significant. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and change this back to CPU, but this time I'm gonna crank up my other settings. So, uh, you know, the basic is not good enough. Let's go ahead and crank up everything. I do have subsurface, I do have fog, so I do have volume. I am gonna increase my, enable my, um, the adaptive sampling, and then I'm gonna give this a render. Again, this will probably take a little bit long. It will take longer to get a higher quality render, but that's the whole point. And also notice that there's no crashing. So <laughs> maybe my old computer was the problem that Maya was crashing a little bit. Um, I have had significantly less crashes with this new computer. All right, so far I'm at 4%. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So I am, instead of you guys watching, but you can see right here, there's a little cubes or little squares getting cleared. You can see the nice quality uh, that's going on. And it's only been 40 seconds. It's already doing a really nice job, but let's go ahead and see how long it takes. Uh, you guys don't need to, I know it's gonna take longer than a few minutes. So let's go ahead and move forward. So you guys don't have to um, watch every pixel get rendered, but it's still kind of fun to see how, how clear it is. Look how nice and clear that render is. So that took about three minutes and 18 seconds. So now let's compare the quality, really nice quality in this one. Um, you can see that that one had a bunch of noise that looks good. And you can see the difference. What's really interesting is what happens to the displacement. If you flip it back and forth, the stones actually do have a displacement map on it. And the fact that they are different is a little, uh, it's interesting. So I'm not really sure why the CPU and GPU would do displacement differently, but there is a little bit of an oddity there. So you, that means that you can't switch them back and forth, that you will have to choose between one and the other. But there you go, that's um, rendering at a higher rate. And it took three minutes and my settings were, were definitely higher and you still get this really nice quality renders relatively fast. For me, three minutes is nothing. I used to do 45 minute renders. So, oh, I actually used, used to do a three hour render. So for me, this was, this is like a walk in the park. It's really fun actually to see the comparison. So yes, my computer is newer, it's fast. I invested in it. I mean, my computer a lot, so I'm very happy with my new computer. I'm excited to be more effective, more efficient when it comes to my renders. Uh, don't worry, my, my tutorials are still gonna happen. Tutorials are coming soon. I was just kind of having some fun with my new computer and I just wanted to show you guys the comparison. So let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share this if you feel like this is helpful to any of your, your friends and take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free ebooks, 3D models, and so much more. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I keep creating and I will see you in the next tutorial where the renders are going to fly by. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.